Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the morphology of the maxillary deciduous lateral incisors. So, so this is the left maxillary deciduous, inci maxillary deciduous lateral incisor and this is the right deciduous maxillary lateral incisor. So in the maxillary dental arch, um, so in the maxillary dental arch, these teeth are the second tooth from the midline, and these teeth they emerge in through the oral cavity around the age of uh, eleven months, and the root it is completed by the age of two years. So these these uh, deciduous lateral maxillary lateral incisors they are replaced by the permanent lateral incisors around the age of eight to nine years. So these teeth they are smaller in all dimensions as compared to the deciduous maxillary central incisor. So this tooth it is longer cervical incisally cervical incisally as compared to that as compared to the mesiodistal dimension so the length of the crown is more as compared to the mesiodistal dimension this is the meso incisal angle and this angle is the disto incisal angle so the meso and the distal incisal angles they are more rounded as compared to the central incisor while in this tooth the mesial incisal angle is relatively sharp as compared to the distal incisal angle which is more rounded the root of this tooth it is longer as compared to the length of the crown and the root it tapers and the apex of the root it is sharp these are the elevation this elevation is known as the mesial marginal ridge and this is known as the distal marginal ridge the marginal ridges and the cingulum this is the cingulum the marginal ridges and the cingulum in this tooth it is prominent therefore the palatal surface it is more this area it is more concave so this is this fossa sometimes referred as palatal fossa or lingual fossa it is more concave as compared to the central incisor there's a taper on the lingual aspect therefore part of the mesial surface and the distal surface of the root they are visible from the lingual aspect this is the mesial aspect of the tooth And the mesial aspect it is similar to the maxillary central incisor on the mesial surface more curvature of the cervical line is on the mesial aspect otherwise the tooth it looks very much similar to the maxillary central incisor the curvature of the cervical line it is less on the distal aspect the, the surface of the root it is smooth with no developmental depression or groove now uh, this is the incisal aspect so overall the outlines of the crown they are more rounded as compared to the maxillary central incisor the labial surface of the crown it is more convex as compared to the central incisor the incisal ridge this part is the incisal ridge it has more curvature because the curvature of the incisal ridge it follows the curvature of the dental maxillary dental arch so this curve the incisal ridge curvature it is more the 
the mesial distal dimension of this tooth it is smaller as compared to the maxillary central incisor so if you have any questions uh, do ask in the comments below again thank you so much for watching this lecture thank you and stay blessed